Hello everyone, this is going to be my 2013 drawing workspace video. My desk is a bit messy right now because I just finished painting, that's why there's painting stuff all over my desk, and why this cloth is on my Cintiq, because I don't want to get paint on it. So I'm just going to show you the desk, the stuff that's under the desk, and then I'm going to go over to the other side of the room and show you the white storage containers that I had last time, which are now all the way on the other side of the room, so I'm going to show you the stuff in there later. So my desk is a little bit different than it was before. It's still in the same spot, it has all the same storage, but this is moved over there and it's like flipped over upside down. So, and the other thing is behind it and I have a extender on it now, so it goes out a little bit farther. I wanted to put my Cintiq on this side where all this stuff is, but the cord wouldn't reach that far, so I have to deal with it being right there until I can have a bigger space so I can buy an extender so it can have its own area. I guess I'll start back here behind the Cintiq since it's a little bit hard to see. My Ot light is down here, so I just like pull it out and around and this is usually where I do all my videos and stuff, so I just kind of pull it out and find some way to position it there. It's a bit wonky with this sitting here, but these little book rack has all my old sketchbooks. Well, some of them, there's more around the room, but most of the recent ones are there. Um, these little containers just have office supplies, like this has pencils and scissors, and this has screwdrivers and glue and a light, lighter thing for candles. And this has old crappy paint brushes, my rotary cutter, mannequins, stuff like that. And this just has papers and like sheet protectors and stuff like that, and an animation peg, which I think I stole from my animation teacher. Oops. This drawer, I don't know if I'll be able to get it open. Oh. It has just um, boxes from computer programs that I purchased, my old Blackberries in there, and just like boxes of batteries and pens and stuff, so nothing really interesting. Um, the prints in my room have changed around a lot, they always do, but this is the How to Train Your Dragon print from Comic Con 2013. I didn't go to Comic Con, unfortunately, I wish, um, but I did buy this from somebody who did go. I have the Mark of Athena cover, because it was the only thing in my room that was square, so it fit there really nicely. And you can't really see, but this is a print from the Crudes that I got from the DreamWorks print shop on their website, but it's kind of hard to see with my stupid light there. Um, my phone, my calendar, my portfolio, well, the, my portfolio, where I keep all my artwork. Um, this is going to be a video soon. This is just a black and white copy of this, but this is just where I keep all my artwork and stuff like I have stuff that's going to be filmed into videos like these three are all going to be made into videos and then there's sketches and stuff. But yeah, um, so that's there. I just keep this here now so I can grab it easily if I need to get something out of it. So. Um, these two tins, this one has my Faber-Castell Polychromos 120 set. I just got this a couple weeks ago because I have the Prismacolor set, but I never really cared for the Prismacolor colored pencils that much. And then I tried the Faber-Castell ones, and these ones are oil-based instead of wax-based, so they don't bloom as much and get all like weird like the Prismacolors do, and so I really liked these. I have a couple here because I bought them to test them out. And I liked them so much that I just ended up buying a set. Alright, and this tin has the Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils, also by Faber-Castell, and this is a 120 set as well. I bought these on accident when I was buy going to buy these, the Polychromos, but I got them in the mail because I got a really good discount on them, and I tried them out and I really liked them, so I just decided to keep them because I used up all my other watercolor pencils. I used a lot of them when I was at jury duty, which is really funny. So that stuff goes back up here. Um, the doctor, Rapunzel and Eugene need to be taken out of their case and posed, but that's the Disney princess designer collection. I did manage to get that doll. And I'm very excited because she's so pretty. Um, little handheld dot light and my battery charger. I don't know what these are doing up here. They belong down on one of the shelves, but um, my Copic markers are all still here. Um, I have two of these shelves now. I think last year I only had like all of them crammed into one shelf, but now I have two and they fit perfectly in this little space. I was so excited. 
just little toys and cute things up here. And these are my pens. This is for my tablet. This is for my graphics tablet, my Cintiq. This blanket is usually not here. Just throw that away. Um, this is the Cintiq 22HD. So I use it for like drawing and stuff. <laughs> it has a dual monitor because dual monitors are cool. Yeah. Uh, but I don't like it sitting here because as you can see, that light from the ceiling reflects in it all day long and it's really annoying. I really wanted to put it on the other side of my desk, but maybe someday I'll be able to move it around, but it's okay here right now. My headphones are plugged into my tower. Um, and they're always on the desk somewhere. Regular monitor speakers, my keyboard's wireless, my mouse is wireless. This is my phone. This is my new iPhone. Um, this is the deco case that I did for it. If it would focus. Yay. Um, painting stuff. I just finished a painting maybe like an hour ago, so all this stuff is still on my desk and all my brushes are in my bathroom. Um, so I got paint brushes. These are the, we're only using four colors, it's called the Zorn palette, ooh. So these are the colors that we're using for the whole term. Just titanium white, yellow ochre, Payne's gray, and cadmium red hue, and these are the only colors we're allowed to use for all of our paintings, which is exciting. Um, my tulip lamp ot light, this one like pulls up and it has on a cord and it can stretch all over the place, but and that's belt, which came with my Crude's Dude, or Blu-ray, so he's cute. Um, stuff. This is my pencil case that's has pencils in it. Yeah, this is what goes to school with me all the time. The assignment sheet from the pen class project that I just did. Paper towels with paint on them. This case has animation like paper in it because so, I'm doing a or contributing to the animation clubs. We're doing like a video that's going to be playing on the screen in front in like the front lobby of the school, so I'm contributing to that. My sketchbook is here. Yay. Yep. I should do another sketchbook video. I keep forgetting. Um, my degree audit because I just found out last week that I only have three terms of school left and I'm kind of freaking out. So my degree audit, this has all my grades and stuff on it. So. Um, early winter term class list. You guys don't care about this stuff. And just like papers and mail and stuff that has my address on it that you can't see. So. Ah, alright, so let's go around to this side. This is my 2013 planner. I always show these in my workstation videos because everyone likes to see them. So, what? What month are we on? What month is it? It's October. This is my week. Yay. So, it's cute. This is my... Disneyland vacation package. I'm taking my mom to Disneyland November 7th through the 10th. And she hasn't been to Disneyland in, like, 20 years. So, I'm really excited to take her. It's gonna be fun. Um, my water bottle. This box is supposed to be up on the shelf, but it's where I keep all my batteries and stuff. I don't know why it's just sitting here open. Just throw that on the bed. Painting, that's drying. My room has become a place where paintings dry. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven paintings drying in my room right now, and then I have 20 paintings on my bookshelf that are already dry that I've done from last term, but move this out of the way. You know, break it. Oh god. So, this little storage area doesn't have anything really to do with art supplies, but whatever. Um, rulers. This is my mirror that I use to make faces in when I'm drawing. <laughs> this box has cables and stuff for my computer. My FMA clock is still there. And the time is actually right this time. Yay! And there's a candle behind it. Eh. Um, Sims 2. This is the prize that I won for being third place in the Park Your Art contest, so Copic sent me this. Oh dear. Get in there. Um, this is... There's blank CDs back there and a microphone and Sony Audio Studio that I bought that because I wanted to do 
audio recordings for my videos, but I haven't got around to it yet. So, I have the stuff to do it, I just need to do it. Um, compressed air, a pen, stapler, tape, nothing, what, office supplies, I guess. <laughs> um, next shelf up, lots of pencil sharpeners. This is the little water container that I take when I go outdoor painting, and it's like super duper airtight. It's kind of, wee. But yeah, it has like a brush cleaner on the inside and stuff. This is the box that I keep my paints in that I clip to the side of my easel when I'm painting outside, and then just notebooks and memo pads and a photo album and stuff. Um, my 3DS is charging here. This is where the charger is kept. So, ah. And then my Canon Rebel T3i is right there. Um, notebooks. These are mostly Disney notebooks that I buy because I have a problem. Um, and little just messing around sketchbooks. Like I have a little watercolor pad right here so that I mess around in. And yeah, so that's the top of the desk. Now I'll go down to the bottom. Alright, so now for the bottom of the desk. Apologize for that noise. Somebody outside is like leaf blowing or something. I don't know if you can even hear it, but I can hear it and it's really annoying. <laughs> so sorry about that if you can hear it. Um, my tower, same as last year. My broken out light is here that I use to take my camera to when I'm filming because that one doesn't get hot and make my camera hot. Um, my portable hard drive is sitting right here and my external hard drive is on this side so I keep back up for my computer on this and this has like all my school stuff on it so and there's blank DVDs down there <laughs> um, my air compressor is still here my printer is still here this is a huge giant box of acrylic paints because I was gonna do a like some type of mural on my wall but I never got around to it which seems to be the story of my life <laughs> but they were really cheap I think I got all these paints at Michael's for like 20 bucks and there's some brushes and stuff in there too so printer this little drawer system is the same as it was but it used to be in a different spot but this just has all my blank paper and like my swatch paper and my color chart and my open packs of paper that I'm using this pack of paper has Stonehenge paper in it which I'm really obsessed with right now so it's like colored like really high quality paper but it comes in huge sheets so you have to cut it down so I cut it down and put it in this little envelope thing. This drawer has just like regular drawing stuff like there's lead and pencils and erasers, masking tape, inks, multi-liners, just stuff. And this is my Copic refill drawer. I know I have a lot of refills. Um, I used to have that like nice little partitioned organizer thing, but I got more refills that I can fit in that, so I had to take it out, and now they're just in here. This is all that's in here is refills. I think I have like 200 refills. It's outrageous. But I use them a lot, so I definitely got my money's worth out of them. Um, let's see. Top, there's some more old sketchbooks. These are from like my very first term at school. And I have Adventure Time Monopoly. Oh yeah! And my drawing mats. This is my like Copic drawing mat that I use when I do my videos. And this is my sculpting one, so it's all dirty and gross. It has sculpty all over it. Blech. And now for the drawers. So up here. Oh dear. <laughs> um, my portable DVD player is right here, and I have more huge long pieces of that Stonehenge paper I was talking about. These are just like the long leftover strips, but I didn't want to throw them away because the paper's kind of expensive, so I figured I'll use it for swatching and stuff, but this it what is this? Oh, this is book cover, like, clear plastic, because I was gonna... I don't know what I was gonna do with this, but whatever, I don't even know. This is my box for the Cinema 4D Studio, which I purchased. I took um, a 3D motion graphics class, and this is the program that they used, and I really liked it, so I just went ahead and purchased the program. And there's like, it's so hard to see. There's like notebooks and stuff, and my box for my Photoshop set is down there as well. Next drawer is more nothing. Yay. Uh, my iPhone box. My sandwich cutter! Oh, I forgot it was in here. It makes little like sandwich pockets. Me and my roommate thought it would be funny to have, and it is funny, so 
Um, this is the little box and I keep all my printer paper in and then there's like photo printing paper, a hole punch, my mole skin, just notebooks and there's like a picture frame for some reason over there. And ah, this is my light box, my big giant, um, what kind of light box is it? It's a trace pad LED light box, it's 11 by 17. They don't make them anymore so... I can't tell you where to buy them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is my autograph little tiny light box that I got for Christmas from my mom. And just my tape and the plugs that go with these two light boxes. I don't use this tape, it's really sticky, I don't like it. This drawer has my scanner. This is the can the Canoslide LIDE 100 in case anybody's wondering what kind of scanner I use. That's my scanner. And then the plugs that go with it, paper cutter, my bamboo tablet, another drawing tablet, and my big laptop. And I have a little laptop too. This is my big HP. I have a um, Google Chromebook that I wiped and put a Linux operating system on so I can use it as a regular laptop so I got a like fully functioning laptop for $200 which is a pretty good deal. Paper! This is still the same as it was but messier. <laughs> um, this just has paper. All my Gina K because somehow I ended up like with tons of Gina K cardstock because I stocked up a while back and then just all my other kinds of paper like my deleter paper and Copic paper and Bristol and stuff. And this still has notebooks in it, but it's really messy now. Yay! Um, just all my notebooks. I haven't really bought many. What is this? Parking garage? Nope. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, just notebooks still. I think that's it. And then I have cables, my iPhone, I, well, I guess iPhone, iPod charger, and then I have a measuring tape because I'm really weird about measuring stuff. I always have to measure everything. So yeah, I think that's it for under the desk. So this is where I keep the rest of my art supplies in these white um, storage container things, I guess. I got these all at Michael's because I know someone's going to ask where I got them and they're just individual units and they're stackable. So I used to have only four, but now I have eight. Yeah, but they do the job pretty well. So. I'm just going to go through all the drawers really quickly and not spend too much time on this, but... So... Usually up here on these shelves I have um, sculptures that I made for my character sculpting class, but they were in the Portland Fashion Week show at the Convention Center in Portland, so they are not here anymore. They're in the show somewhere, so... The paint got rubbed off because I set a just sculpture with no base on here and it pulled all the paint off. <laughs> like oopsie. <laughs> Alright so I'll start over here. Um, this white shelf just has like gel pens and color pens and extra markers, multi-liners, drawing pencils, stuff like that. Just it used to be on my desk but now it's over here because it won't fit on my desk anymore. Um, this drawer has my Copic airbrush system stuff in it and iPhone cases for doing deco. There's some more iPhone cases right there. Um, these two containers have my deco stuff in them. This is some of my deco stuff. This is completely filled with like packages of things. Oh, I'm not going to take them out though. This one also has ah, deco stuff in it. All the little containers have these. This side has rhinestones and this side has pearls and like cute little foods and stuff and this has ribbons and cute things and yeah. I really like doing deco, I need to do it more often. Alright, so I'll go to this side. Um, I keep all my like reusable bags and this is the bag I take to Disneyland and my Disneyland lanyard and stuff. Don't fall, just stay there. So this top little drawer has acrylic paints in it that I bought before I started using oil paint, so I haven't actually used these yet, but they weren't too expensive, so I'm sure they'll get used eventually, but I really like oil paint rather than acrylic, so. Close. Oh, what are we stuck on? Okay, now that I've got that drawer closed, in this drawer, I don't like this little storage thing, it's a bit hard to open the drawers, but 
extra acrylic paints, um, cold medicine, um, push pins, my old iPod, this is the first iPod I had, but the battery lasts like two seconds now, so, books that I made, just stuff, nothing really interesting in here, and this drawer, has, let's see, there's matte fixative, this is, um, oh my god, spray paint. <laughs> it's uh, like matte gray for spraying sculptures with. Extra headphones, watercolor tape, binder clips, I have a whole box of binder clips because I use them for painting, and then little like, a whole bunch of these little like sticky tabs that are cute. So, a bunch of those. Than that, and then just like pens and note cards and stuff. All right, all right. So this is the. P it says painting, but it's actually not painting because it used to be. I need to relabel it. But this has my pan pastels in it, which I'm obsessed with right now. They're just like they're pastels, but you use them with like these little stick things, and you put um, little covers on them, and then you can like you paint with them instead of just like using the pastel itself, but here's some of the little applicators. But they're really fun and they're really pigmented and really pretty, so I'm planning on putting some of these in videos sometime when I actually do something that I like with them. So this is my painting drawer. Yay! Most of my painting stuff is on my desk, as you already saw, so I just have brush cleaner and tape, brush storage. A lot of this was from my last painting class, like all these paints were from my summer painting class when we were doing outdoor painting, but we're only using four colors in our palette this term. It's called the Zorn palette. So, yeah, most of this stuff isn't being used this term, but I'm sure it'll get used up eventually. And this drawer is just colored pencils um, and other type of pencils. These are my old watercolor pencils that are mostly gone. These are my graphite tint Derwent pencils, and this black case has my Prismacolor color pencils in it that are almost all used up, and then just like some loose colored pencils, and some Blick gray colored pencils, so that's what's in that drawer. Down one more, this is where I keep all of my like scrapbooking stuff, because I showed this book in my video last year, and it's almost completely full now, but it has there's stuff all over the place. But, yeah, so I finished that book up, and I have another one that's in this box, and this box is where I keep all of my stuff that's going to be put into a scrapbook, but hasn't been yet. So, and th so that's just what all this stuff is. And stuff in here, too, and this is my wand that I had made from Alavans for my Gryffindor costume. So that's what's in that box. I'm not even going to fix that. And this drawer has... it doesn't have a label on it. This is where I keep my ridiculous collection of planners, because I have a really bad problem about pl buying a lot of planners every year, and I only usually use one. So these are all the extra ones that I have that I've bought. I might do some type of giveaway with these or some something maybe on my tumblr because I'm never going to use all of them. In the back there's more pastels and just stuff so it's in there. Prismacolor markers and other markers in my color aid. So that's what's in there. This is the old art drawer. Happy pancake! I did these in the watercolor class when I was in community college. So they're, they were like, they're pretty bad. <laughs> but this is the drawer where are the, all the old art is still, so that hasn't changed. This is my stamping drawer. It has just all kinds of stamp and stuff. And yeah, same as it was last year. Window markers, I should totally use these. Alright, to this side, it's getting a little hard to see. This drawer just has my vitamins in it, so nothing interesting. This drawer just has stuff. It's just like the stuff drawer, so not anything. 
interesting in there. This has pouches, like pencil pouches and old wallets and stuff, and it's, I can't really open that anymore, so. This is my deco drawer that has like my hot glue gun and all my glues and bindings and clay and all stuff for doing deco. Here's some more pouches and wallets. And in the back is my um, glow-in-the-dark paint and brushes and stuff for that for painting my ceiling. And this drawer just has more like art supplies. Like this has Conti crayons and charcoal and a whole bunch of like really dirty stuff. So I don't open that very often. Oh dear. And these are both empty. This is just a set of woodless colored pencils. And there are La Plume markers in those two containers. How did I get this in here? Fine. Rude. And this little pull-out magazine holder, which is not what I use it for, has my audio headphones, the box for my Canon Rebel T3i, my little mannequin people, and a watercolor sponge and extra masking tape. And this is where I keep all my old sketchbooks, new sketchbooks. This is a toned gray paper sketchbook that I just got. And here's just like full, like file folders and stuff like that that I can use if I need them. Another, this is a tan toned sketchbook. This has tan paper in it as well. This is a whiteboard. Because someday I'm going to do a Draw My Life video, but I haven't quite got to it yet. Uh, sorry. Uh, more sketchbooks and paper. Oh gosh, I just broke that. Oh well. Um, tracing paper. Just this paper you've all seen before, because it's been in other videos. Let's just break that shelf, that's great. Um. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. Um, this shelf, more sketchbooks. Brown paper. This is the my Hobbit sketchbook. That is really super cool. And this sketchbook has um, ivory colored paper in it, so that's why I bought that one. Um, this is a like little expression sheet that rolls out and it's like 40 inches long that I use for reference sometimes, but I'm not going to unroll it because it's 40 inches long, so it's like really huge. Um, and then just canvases, more canvases, a black canvas and some 11 by 14s and some smaller ones. So. Alright, last three little drawers. This one just has a lot of the supplies that were over at my desk last year, but now are over here because I don't use them as often. It's just like basic stuff. Like, what's in here? Um, artist pens that I don't use anymore. Um, charcoal, glue, dry erase pens, mist bottle. This is a foam board cutter. This just has like scissors and there's like protractors and rollers and stuff in there and then there's some uh, pastels that I used when I was at community college. This is my watercolor drawer. Um, I have two watercolor sets that I take with me if I'm going places. This is my small one. I just got this so I haven't used it very much yet. And this is a bigger one. This has more colors in it. Oh, I forgot. This is a pain in the butt to open so I'm not going to open it. Whatever. And I have some arches paper and some paint brushes and then a bunch of water like water brushes because I really like this for watercolor painting. Yeah. And this is my sticker drawer where I keep all my like scrapbooking stickers and little notepads and cutesy things for doing like my smash book and scrapbooking and stuff. And I forgot to show my easel. This is my sad, beat-up French easel that went with me all over creation for my outdoor painting class last term. So it's like all like broken and it has this really bad repair that I did on it because this broke off. But yeah, it has a palette inside and it usually has all my paints and stuff in it, like my big ones, but they are on my desk. So. And it has a drawer that comes out and stuff. So. And this little box has all my sculpting stuff in it. So, like all my tweezers and wires and epoxy and stuff like that. It's a bit hard to see because it's shiny because it's still wet. 
but that is the painting that I just did that I was talking about so all right and I think that's everything for the desk and art supplies so I don't think I missed anything um, and I hope it wasn't too horribly long either but I don't think I had anything else to tell you um I have a print shop now I haven't actually announced it or anything yet but I do have one and I'll put a link in the description so if there's anything you want me to add up on the print shop, just like give me a holler and I'll toss it up there because there's only a few things right now. But this is one that I actually purchased from my own shop and they sent it to me. And they're really beautiful quality. So I'm happy. So just to let you know that that is there if there's a demand for that. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's everything. So thanks for watching, everyone.